More heat shrink. This earth sleeving, I could fit my arm down that. <laughs> what are you tying up, people? <laughs> wow, hang on a minute, Michelle. Hang on a minute, Michelle. Have you seen this cam? Hi guys, Rich from Out of Smart. Welcome back to another YouTube video. As you can see from the sign behind me here, we're at Cablecraft today. Now, we're actually gonna go through and do a full office and building tour, but there'll probably be some other videos coming out that is gonna see some of the departments, products, uh, and, and the really cool things that they have here in more detail. Cablecraft is actually part of the show group, and they have over 28,000 products in these warehouses here behind me. So anyway, let's go and have a look around, and we'll meet Michelle. Hi guys! Hi Hello there! Hi Rich! If you want to follow me, we're going to show you the sales office. So this is okay. your main office this that we've got it. here at Cablecraft. Yeah. So, just entering into the sales office here where we have our director sitting. Nice. And then we have our customer services. Customer service teams here. Over here, and if you walk over here, we have our contractor routing. Hi guys. And then we've got our OEM panel OEM builders. Team. And we have our lovely purchasing team. So it's birthday. Happy Someone's birthday. birthday. Happy birthday, Nat. <laughs> and we have our lovely wholesale team. Nice. Now we're going through to the warehouse. Oh, nice. We've got it's a very busy warehouse. It is a very busy warehouse. Lots going on. We've got down this aisle, we've got hundreds and hundreds of reels this of heat shrink. There's loads. Like, I'm a heat shrink guy. I didn't even know there was this many different sizes, types and colours. Now this is what we actually keep at the office, this or if we're doing LED tapes out on site, we use the big reels, but obviously that's us with the smart home stuff. Kalecraft's market predominantly, I suppose, is rail and electrical. You know, you do a, a lot in those sectors. A lot of installation, so yeah. t easy taking small Little picks. boxes for the van. For the van, exactly. You even do it, you even cut it off per metre if people want it and don't want to buy a big box. Exactly. And then you've also got the 1.2 metre sticks, which is an adhesive line. That's Another an type of heat shrink. Another one, but the, one of the really cool things about all these heat shrinks and all the different products is the majority of these are all made in the UK. Absolutely, we have a factory down in Plymouth, Birch Valley Plastics, where they do all our extruding, and then it's uh, depot transferred over to us here, so we can nice. hold the stock. Hold the stock here. And yeah. we're actually gonna go down to Birch Valley Plastics uh, when we're on the, doing these videos down south, and we're gonna go down for a full tour, Michelle. Awesome. We're gonna go down and see all the production lines. Excellent, and over here is where they do all the reeling, so they'll take the reel off and cut off your meterage. Oh, nice, and pull you off exactly you what you want. Yeah. Up here we've got lots Cheap. of tools, more heat shrink. This earth sleeving, <laughs> I could fit my arm down that. <laughs> that is huge. Yeah. That's absolutely massive. That's a 50, I think there's a 101 somewhere, but I can't quite see that on the shelf We've got moment, tools got as well. All the tooling. Tools. These are absolutely mint for um, little flexes and when you're doing LED tape and stuff, these are absolutely awesome. Got all the crimp coax cable stripper. I've got all of them. We're just heading through. This is where we have a lot of our labelling. Wow, hang on a minute, Michelle. Hang on a minute, Michelle. Have you seen this cam? This one you That's the one I was looking for. <laughs> that one I joked about the other one. You could actually fit that you're out. That's crazy. <laughs> anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah, so in here we've got a lot of a spiral binding. Ah, oh, this them is for the panels. Yeah, keep them cables tidy. A lot of labelling. Um, rail mounted terminals. That's more for the panel side. I've got the dimmer, because that's predominantly um, why we use you guys, is for all the panels and lighting panels and stuff that we do. Yeah. Um, so yeah, all the dimmer terminals and stuff's great. Got a lot of PVC sleeving. So even the earth sleeving. So this is all, even this, this is all made at Birch Valley Plastics as well, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. And somebody gave me a number yesterday. I'm not going to quote you on it, but it, it's millions of metres a year, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And then you've got cable identification. So this is my favourite bit, Michelle, I won't lie. The idents. <laughs> the idents are my favourite bit. So the idents are the little numbers that we use in the lighting panel to identify the cables. And then you've got the boxes of Critchley markers. These, these are my favourite. 
They're the colour coded options, come in bags inside. So these are the slide on numbers. And then you've got the real type. I've got those. All the different flavours. <laughs> Lots of different colours there. Got braided sleeving over this end. Boxes of it. Now, obviously the braided sleeving is what we use for the anacondas on the rack. Now, some of these are for other applications, which is why they're in grey. Um, but you've got all the different ones. And again, these are coming in 25 metres, 100 metre rolls on the small stuff there. 100. And they're even going to... Some of you saw what shot there, who's, who's definitely promised me, they're going to make us it in 150 metre rolls as well. Yeah, yeah. So you've got the wider ranges here. Um, but down at our factory again in Plymouth is where we reel the larger quantities, the larger sizes. So if you want 50 metres or 100 metres. Yeah, bespoke. Yeah. Nice. All right, I'm going to go take you to where all our kits are made up. Nice. Now we actually have a bespoke kit that we use. We've, we've kind of put one together with you that we use and we carry on our website. Ah, yeah. I think you had some yesterday actually. They did. They got yeah. nine boxes yesterday. Yeah. So this is our kit room. Wow. This. <laughs> These yeah, are the trays and the numbers that you most definitely do not want to knock over. <laughs> These are the boxes that slide open with the numbers that we use. Yeah, you got the larger kits. Obviously, these are black and white ones. And Colour these guys put kits. all these together. So the creature clicks that. Yeah, those are the ones we carry. Yeah. These are the ones. Here we go. That's the little slide on ones. And, and are these made of birch, birch belly plastics as well? They certainly are. Now, you'd actually think something like this, tiny little plastic pieces and numbers, would probably be made abroad. Yeah. You know, for the cost, but no. no, literally, all of it. UK is made manufactured. In. Okay, I'm going to take you over to the guys that do our pre printing labels now in the lab. Wow, this is cool. So, this is all the probably Teflon cut markers, is it? That's right, and this is the department of pre print. Hi, guys, you alright? Okay, Rich, well, I'm going to leave you with Jordan's capable hands. He's going to show you a little bit about this department. Nice. Thank so, you very much. See you later. Cheers, Jill. Thanks so much. So, Michelle's just handed us over, and now we're going to go and have a look at some cool stuff. Right? Let's go. Let's go. Lead the way. Wow. We're in the lab. Yep, so this is the Ident lab, um, where the magic happens. So Literally. We've got label printers. Now, everybody knows Art Smart absolutely loves a label printer. These are proper label printers though aren't they? These they are, are yeah. these are the real deal. So the, You can what? print off thousands of minutes of these ones. Um, oh, these. Heat shrink markers here. Oh heat shrinks, they print off. Oh one I made earlier. Yeah. Oh here's one you made earlier. Uh, smart heat shrinks, very nice. And your cable oh. markers as well. Bit 12 mil there for cat sixes. What about these big boys? Because these these are proper machines. So these ones are our laser engravers. Um, the two Blue end ones do our plastics, mm -hmm. um, and the middle one, the yellow one, does our metals. Oh, so, so met laser engraves onto metal? Yeah, well, laser etches. And then over here. Oh, so they'll do, like, say, for panels, the 400 volt ones. Yeah, so all your, your panel labels, you know, main incomers. Meters and stuff yeah. like this for BMS panels. Yeah, for and your enclosures. controls and your buttons. So you do all this here so people can order them. You have a kind of custom design team that will design them. Send yeah, them we proof. do it all, all start to finish. Just nice. three of us. So we get the job in, we'll quote it, draw it, mm -hmm. send it, pack it. All What's from kind here. of turnaround time? Uh, 24 to 48 hours. Nice. Rapid. What the guys have actually done for us is they've done a whole selection of branded tags and all the different types of labels and markers and heat shrinks. Well, top man, thanks for showing us around there, showing us all Cheers, the mix. Thank you. Cheers, mate. On to the next one. So this is where all the um, documentation's done for dispatching and uh, all the couriers notified of what needs collecting. Nice. Obviously, you can see all the packing area. Brandy boxes. Yeah, of course. nice branded boxes. Um, so right. this is the benches for picking and packing. Obviously we're so up to date today. Mm -hmm. The guys are doing a great job because we've only got half a bench full at the minute. Oh nice, and you recycle all your old boxes yep. for packaging. Yeah. So down this yep. end we've got all the pre-insulated terminals. Ah oh, nice, all the Red, ferrules. Red, oh, yellow, these. blues down here. So these are all your ring crimps, your forks, yep. The blades as you can see. I've got loads. Again, 
Um, and then obviously with um, SWA, they've now been, been part of the Shell Group as absolutely. well. There's that kind of relationship and stuff there as well. Yeah. So we can help, you know, we, we've got stock in two sites now, mm -hmm. um, so we're never out of anything. So then we're moving down to... Uh, Velcros. Reducers, reducers well, adapters, yeah. Velcro, yeah. Something that you... Love a Velcro. Like to use. Oh, Take. nice. You actually do these and stuff as well. So for people who even fit CCTV cameras, reducers for the camera bases, that, you know, nice colour match. Yeah. Colour match one. Tape. All your coloured, different colours of tape. Blank. Edging, I, edging. Do you know what? I thought before when we started, I thought, there's no way we've got 28,000 products. <laughs> I, I, I reckon, I, yeah, there is. Most definitely. Yeah, yeah, literally yeah. is. There's, there's bits everywhere. <laughs> um, down here, we've got the uh, pulling cave, pulling socks. They're they are meeting. big there, so they're for, for, for huge armoured. So when they're pulling them in with hydraulics, you put that, like, it's basically a big Chinese finger. So they put that on the cable, put it on a winch, and then pull it through. Pull it through. See, I, uh, before I actually had that smart, I obviously worked as an electrician full time, mainly doing um, commercial stuff. My last actual job was a generator install, um, and we actually came to Cablecraft, so I knew about Cablecraft before I started the business, because we could have got some lugs. Oh. Yes. Some larger ones down there. <laughs> It's a pretty big one, what's that for? That's for an 800 mil cable. 800 mil conductor. Where are we going to next? We've more got, markers. Oh, more got markers. markers. you got markers everywhere. More markers, yeah. For the big bundle cables, you've got all the warning um, labels over here as well. So basically, Earth bars. everything we could need ever to do anything with a cable, yeah. you've basically got it. Cable ties, loads of different types of cable ties. Outside, these are... Um, P. Yeah, yeah ca cable ties. What, <laughs> what, what are you tying up, people? <laughs> yeah, big, those meter long cable ties. Got the brown ones you say they're outside? They're poly P, yeah, so they've got a bit more resistance to chemicals and yeah. stuff like that outside. Um, and then do you do the little blue ones? Yep, the blue metal ones content have got ones. The, the, they've got metal content for, uh, yeah. for areas where you may need it to get picked up on a metal detector. Ah, these, these are the stretched sleevings to the sleeves. neoprene sleeves. We call these Everything. expanding. Yeah. All different colours. And I'm, I'm presumably sizes. sell the tools for those as well. Yeah. Got the earth one so for guys that maybe can't do hot work, just want to put a bit of earth on the lug, haven't got access to a heat gun, don't own a heat gun, these will stretch out, go over the crimp. I um, mean you don't need heat shrink them. Yeah. And that's basically all of this area. All of these, loads of neoprenes. And, yeah, and down the final so, aisle. Oh yes, and down the final aisle. Got one more. Got one more to go. Here we go. This is what we're looking for. The cord oh, end terminals. Ah, these, these are these are the ones. Ooh, cord yeah. end ferrules. Do, do you stock the French and the German variety? French and German. French yeah. and German. There we go. Long. Teal for 0.75. Long, long mil pins, eight mil pins, twelve mil. Nice. All of those, right up to the largest sizes, which are everywhere. Crimps for days. Down here. Nice. <laughs> so we're going to go over to see our second site. Um, and hand over to Shannon. Over to Shannon. Nice. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Shannon. Hi, uh, you're Nice right. to meet you. What have we got going on over here? Um, so this is goods in, but uh, some goods also go out. Um, yep. As you can see over here, um, this is sort of all the packaging. We have a cardboard shredder that will shred all of our oh, cardboard. Nice, so rather than get rid of all the cardboard boxes, yep. reuse all the waste. And then if we have any plastic, that will go over here and then that will be reused. So, so they've nice come in from on deliveries and yep. then we'll just put it back in just rather than put it to, to landfill. Yeah, exactly. Nice. And then, so I'll just take you down here. I'll go and have a look at some of the products. See some of the products coming in over here. That's the neoprene sleeve. So we've got some of the larger sizes of PVC on reels down Insane here. They are massive. 100 meters on there. Nice. So we'll just take you around here where we've got all of our tri-rated cable on the shelves. Lots of nice different colors. All the different colors for your yeah. panel builds. So we tend to keep the smaller sizes stocked on the shelves here. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely. Well, it's a massive part of your yeah. business is the kind of whole panel building kind of thing. So yeah, exactly. And then you've got the cable hangers down here. Wow. <laughs> Which are very big. These use a lot on the railway kind of applications, yeah, aren't exactly, they? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Specifically for rail applications, yeah. And then down here you've got your AM Wallace earthing um, 
products down Long there. Earthen rods. Earthen rods, copper tape. Yeah, that's... That's a, that's a good bit of scrap, is that? And to be honest, that's most of what we've got down here. So we'll just take you up here and we'll show you some more. Okay, so on this level, I'll just take you down. More shelves. To the bottom row. There's more stock shelves. everywhere. <laughs> You've got literally stock there everywhere. There is so much stock. So down here, um, this is a lot of the identification bits and bobs. So you've got your Dymo, you've got your Brady. Oh yeah, you've got loads of the Brady stuff here. Yeah, so yeah, you've nice. got a lot of the tapes going on down here. Um, the thermal the XTL stuff. ribbons, things like that. So there's lots. Oh, you've got the brother tapes as well. All the brother tapes, yeah. Um, so this is, you put your markers in this. Um, oh, oh yeah, and it slips over the cable. Yeah. Yeah, you can get the printed ones, like the printed tab exactly, goes in yeah. there and that goes Cut over the cable. Cut them to size on all of them printed. Um, so we've got Brady Adamark sleeves down you, here. You've got <laughs> yeah. an, an industrial hook and loop set. That is, that is massive. That is huge. So yeah, loads of Velcro all the way along here. Mm -hmm. This is our glass um, braided sleeving here as well. And then in here you've got your earth tags as well. So you've got your earth tags in there. I your... see you sell all the banjos just separately. Yeah, and your serrated washers as well in there. Dare I even <laughs> ask, how often does Cablecraft do, do a stock take? Every day? Every morning, yeah, every morning. Yeah, do a every stock take. Do that? No, you can't. Can't stock at this building. Like the full thing, every every like full stock inventory count. Basically, these next two rows are filled with markers. More, more markers. More markers. Loads more markers. Um, and we actually stock some of the bigger sizes over here. So, for example, who actually dictates we need this many different types of markers? They just come about over the years. Yeah, literally. Like every year, we sort of look at new product ranges, and yeah, we just get more and more on every single year. Yeah. Just loads. But yeah, these are the bigger sizes of the Easy Clip, so they sort of don't come on a Oh yeah, nice. So oh, they. Yeah, because yeah. you always get really cautious about stuff like those in case yeah. they pop off. But they are. They are pretty tough. Yeah, they are. I think what we'll do now is we'll take you over to the uh, calibration lab, which is quite interesting. Wicked, so, lead the way. Let's go for that. Hi, mate, how are you doing? Not too bad, are you? Yeah, good. What are we having a look at here, the calibration? Right, today we're going to look at calibrating uh, one of our hydraulic ratchet tools. So, what we're going to start off with is going to be, this is going to be the 35 mil standard, as you can see there in the tool. It goes up to 75, this one. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is simple crimp. I'm going to put the thermal onto the cable. This is pre-scored. You score around the cable, not obviously damaging the cable itself. And then you put it on. It's nice and in there, nice and tight. And then we'll get a nice solid crimp. Just one for this one. There we go. Right, now that's crimped. We're going to run it through the calibration. So this machine is a pull-off test. So as you'll see in a second, we're going to place it in the machine nice and firm. So we're just going to hold it down and we're going to start the test. We have a chart here. So this is the British standard, which we run our, all our tests to, um, unless rail, unless it's stated otherwise. Mm -hmm. So that's 35 mil there, so it has to get up to that number, 2100 N. As it's pulling off, I should mention that, um, there we go, let's go now. Each test needs three passes, mm -hmm. to pass calibration, and then the customer will get a certification for a year, and it's valid for that year. Then after the year's up, they'll send it back, we do the same process. So, oh, you can, so you'll test it regularly for them? Yeah. And, and um, you can even test the tools, can't you, before you ship them? So if somebody's buying something, of course, yeah. you'll yeah, yeah. ship we it offer that and service, test it yeah. next day. Top man, well thank you right. very much for your time, thanks for showing me that. No worries. Awesome. Yeah. Wow. What an absolutely impressive place. The kind of, except I knew, I knew, I knew because from my electrician days, I knew that Cablecraft did a lot of stuff. I knew they did a lot of accessories. I knew they, they did lots of things with cables, but I don't think I was actually prepared for what they had in there. So it would be terminating, engraving, identification, sleevings, heat shrinks, you name it, they've got it here. I'll see you on the next one.